So, you've been looking to get into 3D printing, get some pretty cool models and stuff, and now you're kind of wondering what you can do. You figured out, hey, you have some pretty cool Alexa Echo Dot, either the third generation, or the Echo Dot fourth generation. Now, regardless if you've got this generation, the other one, even first and second, these models will work for most of them. This video is done to inspire you what really cool stuff you can do with 3D printing and a couple of my favorite models that I made to really get some pretty cool effects out of these devices. Now, coming up at number one, I'm gonna start from the most basic models, the easiest ones, and work my way up. And I try to do a mix for both in different generations. The first simplest but really cool model is this one. Now, keep in mind, I will have obviously links in the description down below for every single one of these models. This is model number one, pretty great design. There's nothing crazy about it. It's very simple. It takes just a couple hours, not even 100 grams of filament, and it looks great with my Echo de device. And the great thing is, and I've tested these out with the sound and audio, um, it doesn't inhibit the sound too much with this kind of design. It looks really sleek, looks pretty cool. You get to see that ring a little bit better. Um, I, it depends where you're at. I mean, you don't really get more usefulness out of this. Except for, I will say, there's a neat way you could easily cable manage by just putting all your wires in the bottom, and there's a nice little divot done for the wire to go out. Pretty nice, useful thing. This is the first, most basic model, but hey, it's pretty cool, it's really easy. Everyone can do this on Enter 3, at least. Now, coming in at number two, my second favorite model is actually this one. Now, <laughs> it looks pretty creepy and eerie. It's just a hand by itself. But when you add the Echo device on top of it, it's it, it gets a pretty cool design. I really liked it. I enjoyed doing this one. Um, I decided to do it in transparent filament. I don't know, I said, what the heck, why not? <laughs> the model in the description link uh, had a picture of one transparent. It's pretty cool, it glows a little bit better, I guess. Um, but this was scaled, okay? So this was scaled, uh, I know it was about 118%, but you have to double check for the third gen. It's made for the first and second gen Echo Dots. Obviously this won't work with the uh, spherical one perfectly, but pretty cool if you wanna be creative, get some sort of artsy look, or people uh, come to your house and like, hey, where the heck did you get that? You're like, I 3D printed it, pretty awesome. Um, again, very easy to print, very simple, as you see right there, pretty cool print. All right, now, number three on my list of top devices. This is starting to get up there, all right? We're getting to the third one. This one is probably the, I hate to say this, almost the most time-consuming one, very surprisingly. It took a lot of parts, as you see right there, running a time-lapse, but Play homage to Omnilexa. Loved it. Um, this is from The Incredibles. If you ever didn't watch it, I don't know what kind of childhood you didn't have. Uh, pretty cool thing, you know. Obviously, you plop in the Echo Dot Fortune. And it looks very, very cool and eerie. Now, uh, this model definitely can use some work. Um, the guy that started, I guess, was a beginner. Listen, this is much better than I can do. I'm not trying to criticize. I'm just giving you guys a warning before you go out and print this thing. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, it doesn't have any design for the cable management, really. Um, that's very lacking. And the, you know, the blue glow that you have from the Alexa, you can't see it at all. Uh, but it looks, it's pretty cool. It's pretty dope, and it doesn't take too much supplies. Obviously, it takes a lot of parts. I actually used hot glue to get this all together, and I don't regret it. I actually plan on using hot glue way more often my 3D prints from now on. It's very easy to work with, very easy to take off, redo if you need to, but it's really good for structural integrity, holds together very well, it's very easy to clean off, and you know, for something like this, it's absolutely perfect. So, there you guys have it, pretty cool, giant, Omni Alexa looks a little eerie by itself, but get your nice and friendly Echo Dot and uh, we're good to go. All right, so the next ones I'm really proud of. I really, really like these guys. They turn out so well and it was really hard to find some pretty cool models, but this one I think does the best job, both of these do, for each of the generations and grabbing all of Echo Dot's features, its design, and making them even better. The little astronaut, check this guy out, okay? So, as you see right there, he's got a perfect little stand for the Echo device. He's got divots done, little holes, all for cable management. It's done in the back. They did a great job with that. Um, you can see the blue light as it shines up, and it, it, it's just perfectly designed but the other thing is, it doesn't just look weird, you know, out of place. It fits in real well, and it's super cute. I mean, who doesn't want to make their 
Alexa Echo Dot have a little bit of character to it. You know, it freaking talks like a human. Why not make it look a little bit uh, personalized? So this is a cute little astronaut. Um, I really like this one. This one was really, really cool. I think it's my favorite one, believe it or not. I, I do think it's my favorite one. The next one, the next one is really good though, okay? The next one is really good. It's my favorite one for the Echo Dot Fortune, all right? Let me keep that in mind because you're very difficult to limit it with what you can design with a speaker being a freaking spherical ball, but this using it as the astronaut's little helmet, absolutely perfect, highly recommend it, go check it out guys. Um, I did print this with some supports, obviously you don't have to scale it, um, like 5% info on all of these, one shot print, didn't have to assemble it, very happy with how it came out, go get one yourself, do it. So you have stuck around for this video, you've enjoyed some time lapses, had some pretty cool models, it's around seven minutes, and last but not least, has to be the greatest model. It has to be the best one. I gotta reward you viewers for sticking around and watching this video, and it is the, bam, the R2-D2. Um, this, this was so much fun to make. Now, this was hard to make because, like the Omnilex one, it required a whole bunch of parts. You did have to assemble it. Um, it's a little bit more tricky with the support, so if you're a novice and new to 3D printing, uh, you know, you can get this done, but uh, just, just generate supports everywhere, have 0% info for them. That's basically what I did. Um, he did take probably a little bit over, eh, close to two days in printing with all the parts, but does he not just look great? This is a screen accurate R2-D2. Now, I had to use a remixed version for the third generation uh, Echo Dot because they're slightly bigger than the second gen, but you could easily put them into the head right here. It's really easy to place it in there. And as you guys see in the video right there, the blue little halo is very well expressed. It matches the R2-D2. And I just can't wait till I get my hands onto painting this guy. Um, he's just, he's such a perfect size too. He's not giant and obtrusive, but he's big enough, you know, to add some artistic feel, some nerdy, geeky vibes, because that's what we 3D printers do, right? Um, th listen, the legs can move if you really wanted them to. Um, the head cover does come off a little bit too easy. It's a little hard to get that figured out. Um, but the cable management is there. Um, you've got all the holes, you got everything. It does limit definitely the sound. Um, that's not something that you're like, oh man, I can't like tolerate my Echo Dot being in this because I can't hear it. You can hear it, okay? Um, but it's gonna, you know, if you're on volume, you know, 10 or whatever, it's gonna rumble a little bit odd. But I definitely love this print. This is probably the best model there is out there, most creative one for Echo Dots. Unfortunately, it's not for the fourth gen. There is one that exists for it, but you know, you don't have the RTD2 head and it's just kind of, you know, it's not Star Wars, but this is, and I'm very happy with it. Loved it, highly recommend it. It takes only about two M4 screws to assemble it. And uh, there you have it guys. There's some Echo Dot models that you can print. If this video was enjoyable and fun to you, helped you out, got you some inspiration juices going, flowing to get some cool stuff printed, smash the thumbs up button down below. Only takes two seconds every time. Hit the sub button down below. You won't regret it. A whole bunch of great 3D printing content, cool models, Iron Man suits, tutorials, and the such. You won't regret it, I promise you. And hey, while you're here, go check out some other cool videos. You won't regret it, I promise you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.